Hello geeks and welcome back! Oh, just look at them, my Mortal Kombat girls! This is definitely a set that I want to keep adding more characters. For today's custom, I have this WWE Diva Fashion doll, which already has this beautiful red hair, so at this point you should know who I'm going to be making. Yes, it's time to make Scarlet, the Red Ninja. The first step, and the one I hate the most, is to get rid of this molded on underwear that is so hard to remove guys, you have no idea. Once done, I'm going to proceed to draw all the areas for the epoxy. This kind of custom is a previously planned work. If sometimes you need to change something, that's okay, but I recommend not improvising. Once done with the draw, we can start the best part of this custom, the epoxy sculpt. I really love this action figure feeling it gives to these Mortal Kombat dolls. I don't have very clear yet why some doll artists use gloves while working with this epoxy clay. I used to wear them and at least for me it was really hard to achieve a nice finish. So one day I decided not to wear them and I could see the difference since the beginning. Everything looks so much polished. You can easily tell at first sight which dolls I made while wearing gloves and which I may not wearing them. Till this day the epoxy haven't done anything to my hands so no more gloves for me. As you can see I'm making Mortal Kombat 9 Scarlet. And I have some reasons. Number one is that I want her to match my other Mortal Kombat dolls. And number two, I so much prefer this outfit. I know there has been some controversies going on with this new Mortal Kombat aesthetic. I get they tried to change the game and not over sexualize the girls, but I think they went too far in the opposite direction. I don't think the new Scarlet even feel like a Mortal Kombat character anymore. Her default look made me feel like she's an NPC from some kind of open world desert exploration game, but at least you can customize them. Maybe it's just the nostalgia factor, but I prefer these super sexy fantasy fighters, but as I said, this is just my opinion. So I will let you guys enjoy the process, enjoy the music, and I'll be back anytime I need to give you information. And all the epoxy is fully cured, all this process you enjoyed in a few minutes actually took me 4 days, 
but I'm not really happy with the original color of this doll. I think she's too tan to be scarlet, which is always depicted as this kinda pale, almost vampire-like woman, so I'm going to change her skin to a lighter color. At this point I think I'm an expert in this whole process, so here we go again. As I always say, please apply the paint in thin coat, and please always use a very soft watercolor brush, otherwise you'll get brush strokes textures everywhere and nobody wants that. I get questions about this process a lot and those are my top tips, thin coats, watercolor brushes. Once done, I like to seal the paint with a watered-down layer of Liquitex matte varnish to protect it from scratches and so.
Scarlet.